Welcome sorry. back, YouTube, to another edition of TV Fridays, and I'm your host, Ace Duran, aka Ace Soprano. And uh, today's gameplay, very, very old gameplay, early November-ish, even before Hijack, that Hijack gameplay I have of 114 to 3. This is 100 to 7, uh, my very first 100 gameplay. Uh, this is before any patches happen, any bugs or nerfs. So enjoy this clean PDW that has not been touched. And uh, it's an early gameplay, so you know, bear with me. Uh, I improved a lot since then, so I do do a couple of crazy things in here. Even like even I'm watching now, and I'm just like, wow, can't believe I did that. But uh, moving on. Today's topics for TV Fridays, obviously we're going to have uh, some sports talk. going to talk about my second favorite show that's coming back on Monday, Revolution. And uh, lastly, The Walking Dead. Um, let's go ahead and start talking uh, about Revolution. Uh, second half of the season is coming back, if you guys want to catch that show. It's on NBC, uh, no need for cable. And if you didn't see the first season, uh, I do recommend Hulu Plus. They do have uh, all the episodes there. So if you want to catch it, that's the best place to catch it right there. Um, a little bit about the show, you know, another show, kind of apocalyptic type of thing. Uh, you know, there's no power whatsoever. They must, you know, learn to survive without any power or supplies. But, you know, there's a twist. Uh, there's little pendants that you know they created that actually with, with certain range you have electricity which is pretty interesting you know they're, they're in a pretty interesting situation now uh, at the beginning of the second half of the season I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys I'm just saying uh, if you like The Walking Dead this show might be a little bit uh, intriguing to you there's no zombies but you know kind of the same format you know survival of the fittest and uh, I do recommend it for you guys. I'm really excited it's coming back on Monday, so I will make sure to watch it if you guys want to catch it. You know, uh, like I said, I recommend it. And uh, moving on to The Walking Dead and uh, another apocalyptic show. Only this one actually had zombies in it. And uh, two episodes left, guys. Two more episodes. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm pulling my hair out of my head thinking what's going to happen. You know, they tend to kill people off towards the end of the season. So, uh, you know, I'm wondering who's going to die at the end of the season. You know, maybe it's Herschel. Maybe, you. maybe it's, you know, Andrea. Maybe it's a Milton or Michonne. You never know. You know, they're, they're not going to exactly follow the comic book page by page. So they might kill somebody uh, that wasn't that is in the comic book and is currently in the, in the newest edition of the comic book. So we never know. Uh, really, uh, as of right now, I know for sure Milton is turning on the governor. I believe that he burned those zombies. Uh, I, I don't think Tyrese actually had the balls to do that. I don't even think his wife would let him do that. Uh, Milton is really starting to see the governor for who he is, and that's the start of it right there. Uh, he's not going to show his true colors yet, though. I think he's going to uh, show his true colors when the time comes. But, uh... Right now, the group has to go save Andrea, and I think that's what's gonna happen in the next episode to save Andrea. Uh, Tyrese is slowly turning on the governor as well, so he might play a part next episode. And it's basically the pregame to the war. So, uh, the war might start next episode and continue in the last episode of the season. So, pretty epic stuff going on, guys. Uh, really excited to tune in on Sunday. I'll probably watch it a few times because you know it's never good enough to watch it once you always got to watch it like you know twice or a couple times to actually have it sink in but really excited about the sunday uh it kind of just sucks though that you have to wait till the fall for the next season to start again but i mean it's, it's tv you know my other favorite tv show white collar you know just recently ended and now i gotta wait all the way till you know the fall for it to start over again and i hate when they end with like a twist you know or something crazy happens at the end it's like well what's gonna happen next uh moving on to the nba real quick uh the heat finally got the moab and uh got a 24 game streak without losing really impressive uh my theory is you know when you do things like that during the season you're very dominant 
I don't think you're going to win the championship. I'm sorry. I mean, just look at the Patriots. Went 16-0 and in the season and lost it all in the Super Bowl. You know, you got to think about it. If this is the best that he could do, I think, you know, I'm not saying hold back, but I'm saying save some for the playoffs. You know, that's, that's just me. That's just my theory. Moving on to the NFL. Brian Erlager got let go from the Bears. They didn't bother to re renegotiate a contract or anything like that. They offered him a little cheap $2 million, which I think is a slap in the face for an icon like him for Chicago. And uh, I am being a little biased here because I am from Chicago, but you know what? Uh, you got to think about the bright side here. They have to learn how to play without Erlacher because guess what? Eventually it was going to happen. He's at that age where he's going to retire soon. So, I mean, whatever team he goes to, he's, he's going to be helped, but for not, not too long because he's retiring soon. But this uh, Bears team really turned into only offense type of team because they are letting go of a couple people that I think, you know, were, were big on the defensive side. And lastly guys, I just want to cover my next video over the weekend. I have a tutorial video coming out and also a YouTube shout out video. I'm going to shout out a couple people that shout it out to me and a couple extras. But uh, look out for that. We'll be talking about networking on YouTube and whatnot. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. want to see more, subscribe. And I'll uh, catch you all later. Peace.